All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another package here from Amazon, and uh, this is actually the S10, Samsung S10 Lite, and uh, I had looked for this deal for a while, and I actually found a great deal on this phone. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open it up and see what's inside the box. Uh, this is an a Amazon warehouse deal, so a lot of these phones that you see in Amazon warehouse are, are probably most likely returned items, so uh, this should be in brand new condition guys so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and i'll be right back all right guys so here's the device i took it out of the packaging so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside all right here's the s10 Lite from amazon renewed actually amazon warehouse and we can see in the back it's got the triple camera setup all right uh, samsung s super steady ois all right it's a 6.7 inch super amoled display all right now it's got the volume rockers here on the side it's got the power button and one good thing i can see is that they don't have a bigsby button which is great because i absolutely hate the bigsby button so i'm going to go ahead and power it on and see if there's any juice in here all right and i'll be right back all right guys so while the phone is powering up let's look at what else is in the box so it's got the samsung charging brick it's got uh, the Type-C cable, and I believe it has headphones. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if the headphones are actually inside. And I can tell you that it does have the Samsung headphones, which is fantastic. All right, so let's go take a look at the phone again. All right, guys, so I'm back. So I got this phone loaded up, and um, I switched cars, guys. So just to let you know if you guys think, why am I in a different car? Well, I actually loaded this phone up, and I played with it for a little bit, so... Uh, here are my thoughts. Here is the Samsung S10 Lite in all of its glory. Now, this phone has 128 gigabytes of internal storage. It's got the Snapdragon 855 processor. It's got the three cameras set up in the back with a 48 megapixel main camera lens and a 16 megapixel ultra wide and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Uh, I believe it's actually a macro sensor, but anyways, uh, this is the phone guys. Um, so, uh, the fact that it's very, very light is something that I'm actually really, really, uh, enjoying, uh, not a, not a heavy device at all. Uh, so we have the type C in the bottom. All right. Now we have our power button right here on the side, along with the volume rockers up and down. Now, uh, I believe that this actually... Um, also, I thought that this would substitute for the Bixby, but it doesn't, so that's good because I don't like the Bixby button at all. It's actually very, very annoying. So, uh, here's the phone, guys. Um, the display on this phone is fantastic. It's a 6.7 inch Super AMOLED. Now, if you have seen my other videos uh, when I did the reviews on the A51 5G and the A71, uh, you're going to notice that there's not much of a difference as far as screen uh, the they're both uh, all of them are 1080p so they're not quad hd plus now that is a bummer but at the same time you're not going to notice a difference um you're really not going to notice a difference now this doesn't have the uh the high refresh rate like the uh, poco x3 does it's a 60 hertz display but guess what the high refresh rate is fantastic when you first use it but after a while it's like eh, you know like it's cool it's good to have but it's not a must and for the same price that you can buy it at A71 or A51 5G or A71 5G, you can get a Snapdragon 855 processor uh, for the same price. And this is a flagship. Now, the only thing that's missing here as far as uh, the typical flagship is that this doesn't have an IP rating. So this phone is not water and dust resistant. Now, that doesn't mean that it really is not uh, water and dust resistant. Samsung cut some corners and they decided not to certify it. But I can tell you that uh, this phone feels like it could uh, probably take, you know, some drops of water. Uh, I think that was probably the only difference as far as um, this phone and a flagship, like a true flagship with an IP rating, although not every flagship has an IP rating. Uh, OnePlus doesn't have an IP rating in most of their phones. So uh, IP rating is, is good to have. But I think what Samsung was doing for a while is that uh, some of their phones were advertised as IP rated and then people were actually getting them wet and uh, they were having issues and people were, and were suing them. So I think Samsung decided to skip it on this phone. But I can tell you this phone looks fantastic. 
Uh, it's got the uh, hole punch in the center over there. The bezels are super small. Uh, and I loaded up the face unlock on this phone, and the face unlock on this phone is super quick. Look at that. It is super quick. It is just like, okay, let me, right now I just have to get it again because the phone's in the way, but yeah, it's it's a fast face unlock. Uh, it's a great phone, guys. Uh, now, this phone's supposed to have better cameras than, let's say, the Samsung FE, uh, which is the uh, fan edition. So let's go ahead and take a photo here. All right, let's go ahead and take a photo up here and see how it looks all right all right so let me go ahead and take a look here and see what the photo looks like and it looks beautiful the photo looks great um, I don't see any overexposure I think the sky came out really clear I think this is fantastic let's go ahead and do a uh, let's do a selfie all right here all right let's go ahead and do that all right and see what that comes out okay it looks exactly like I saw it in the viewfinder so uh, I think the cameras on this phone are probably the same cameras. I think these are actually better cameras than the regular S10. I think that's what Samsung did here on this phone. They really emphasized the cameras. And I think the cameras are going to be boss. I can't wait to uh, shoot more photos with them. So uh, all in all, I think this is a fantastic phone, guys. I think, uh, you know, it's about 350 Depends on how much you can, you know, find it for. I'd say for about 350 you can get this or Samsung A71. 71 5g or a 51 5g this is a flagship now it doesn't have the 5g capabilities but you know what 95 percent of the population doesn't use 5g maybe 98 percent so uh this is the lt version and um i think this is a fantastic phone guys i'm really impressed with it i'm going to do a follow-up review i'm going to run some scores on here and see what the benchmark looks like until then stay blessed enjoy the video don't forget subscribe down below until next time